Folks, one of the things I've said many times before, and it's very relevant today, is that outside of his legendary ability to milk his supporters for every last dollar they have, old Donnie's traditional businesses are failing spectacularly. All of the golf courses and hotels and things like that are doing poorly, at least relative to what they used to do. And above all, his headquarter tower is also struggling. And so even before some breaking news, Donald Trump's businesses were in some real hot water. And the following explains how it's all crashing down and Donald Trump's favorite holding, the thing that lights up the New York sky, is going out of business. So this morning, the man who ran the money inside the Trump organization for decades, someone who was inside Donald Trump's inner circle, will plead guilty today to 15 felonies in a tax evasion scheme involving the company. Now, as part of the agreement, Alan Weisselberg has agreed to testify in the trial against the Trump organization, though we understand he has not agreed to cooperate in the specific Manhattan DA criminal investigation into Donald Trump himself. With us now, investigative reporter David K. Johnson. Who likes this deal? Who doesn't? Well, depending on what prosecutors do with this deal, it could be very, very troubling for the Trump Organization, which is a co-defendant along with Alan Weiselberg. And ultimately, uh, this case, at least in theory, could lead to dissolution of the Trump Organization as a corporation and require Donald Trump to hold his properties in his own name, which exposes him to a lot more liability in other matters. Yeah, I think we should focus on that because the headline was, oh, he's not going to cooperate when it comes to Donald Trump. It's not without some peril, perhaps, for Donald Trump that you could see the Trump Organization dissolved here. There's a lot at stake for him. Exactly. And Letitia James also is likely in her state civil case to eventually seek this. You'll recall when these charges were brought as an effort to leverage Weiselberg that I predicted would fail, and it did, to move against Donald Trump. It was poo-pooed by Trump's representatives and lawyers who said, oh, it's not that much money and everybody does this. This is $1.8 million dollars of taxable fringe benefits that were evaded by not reporting them. By the way, the median wage worker in America, the person half earn more, half earn less, would need 52 years to earn that much money. The average wage, about 40 years. So one interesting point here is we understand the sentencing for Alan Weisselberg will be held back. They're gonna wait until after the trial of the Trump Organization itself, which creates some leverage to force him to do what he has agreed to do. Talk to us about the mechanics of how this works now, David. So Alan Weisselberg pleads guilty. He pleads guilty. Then he's called to the stand and asked questions about the Trump Organization. What does he know and how does that play to the jury? Well, once he pleads guilty, he loses the presumption of innocence and he uses for relevant matters the ability to invoke the Fifth Amendment against self-incrimination. He either has to answer questions or he faces being held in contempt and locked up. So there, the effort here by the prosecutors, when they get to the Trump Organization, unless they negotiate a deal to settle it, uh, will be to get testimony out of Weiselberg, certainly testimony showing Donald Trump knew full well what was going on, and indeed, they may have additional evidence we haven't seen yet of tax evasion uh, and other crimes by the Trump Organization that would come up at trial. David, this doesn't preclude Weisselberg testifying in the future, but I wonder how likely you see that is happening. Well, Alan Weiselberg, Brianna, has been with Donald Trump longer than the 34 years I've been covering him. Uh, they are stuck together. Listen, guys, I think this is massive. Everyone said at first that Weisselberg testifying, he wasn't going to do it, he wasn't going to flip on Trump, that now he's going to do it against the company. And let's be clear, you can't really separate Donald Trump and his company. Yeah, in this particular case, because he's not flipping on Donald Trump, it's unlikely that any criminal charges against the Trump Corporation will lead to Donald Trump going to jail. But if the company faces criminal charges, 
and is convicted in addition to the fact that it's going to cause further business exodus, that Donald Trump's already toxic, but if his criminal, if company is declared a criminal company, businesses, condos, they're all going to want to ditch the Trump name. They're not going to want to rent Trump real estate and all of that. Trump Tower is going down, guys. And what he notes there, and we've talked about this a week ago or so, this could lead to the corporate death penalty, something that we talked about multiple times, that Donald Trump, when it all comes down to it, could lose every single cent he has in this deal, and that could leave him with an absolutely vulnerable position as it comes to all of the other legal issues he's facing. He is screwed. I can't wait to see him with a sign begging outside of his old tower.